It is race day. Once again, the Daytona 500 kicking off today. And while racing is America's ninth most watched sport, female representation in motorsports significantly lacking. In fact, there is not a single female racer in this year's NASCAR, NASCAR Cup Series, but one local female driver is trying to break racing glass ceiling. She joins me now, and also professional racing driver, business owner, new First Coast resident, Shay Holbrook is joining me with Erica Moore, executive director for the YMCA at Baptist North. So the YMCA plays a huge part in the success. So we'll get to that, but let's start with, tell me about the industry. It, it is male dominated. Yeah, absolutely. And that's great. And I think being a female in the industry is fantastic. I know that the ratio is still small, but you know, motorsport has given me so much opportunity in my life. I'm actually originally from Jacksonville. My dad was Navy. Um, I just proud Jacksonville. I just moved back a year and a half ago, and when I moved back, I was looking to a you know get back into the to the gym and the training of things, and that's where I, the YMCA kind of came into play. But ultimately, you know, I I'm really just the girl next door, and I ironically did a NASCAR experience when I was 16 years of age. Wow. And fast forward almost 15 years in my career, I've been very fortunate. Um, there's, you know, there's still a glass ceiling to be to be broken. Yeah. Um, there's nobody currently today competing, a female competing in the Daytona 500. Is that crazy to you to to um, know that? Well, yes and no. You know, I think you know I want to be I want to I want to be a trailblazer in the sense that I want to show that it's possible for women to break into the industry, not just with a steering wheel behind the wheel or behind your hands, but also, you know, in all aspects, in STEM, science, technology, mathematics, and engineering, it's a huge part of what motor racing is about. And it has given me an opportunity to excel in so many ways. Um, first and foremost, I'm an athlete and a racing driver, but I'm also now 32 weeks pregnant. About and to be a mom. I'm about to be a mom and I'm transitioning some of my career and I hope to get back to auto racing very soon. I think it's one of those things, it makes you look that you can have a family and you can have those ambitions. Well, and that that's career. the point. That's the point is I think, you know, women are are blessed to be able to produce children and I'm I'm realizing how amazing that is <laughs> and uh, but we really can do it all and I think women are just so gung-ho and have um, such you know a focus and with focus comes drive and passion and you know my quote is fear is a state of mind and will is an action taken and that can apply to anybody in any industry in any walk of life and I just feel as though if I can help provide and showcase what my messaging is and it's not to say that you know, I'm the best at what I do, but I'm yeah. certainly not the worst at what I do. And I, um, I've had such success. I'm a seven-time Pirelli World Challenge champion. Wow. Um, I have a Guinness Book of World Records where I paced a bicyclist behind me at 184 miles an hour. Yes, a bicyclist <laughs> drafting a race car myself wow. went 184 miles an hour. Um, I was the one of two American women in the W Series last year, their inaugural series in a, a single car, a Formula, a Formula One style yeah. car, which was absolutely massive. I've raced Lamborghinis to Hondas and everything in between, and I've just been very fortunate in my life and career, but it didn't come without a lot of hard work and perseverance. Of course, and a team behind you. Yes. Absolutely. The YMCA is my team, and I cannot <laughs> thank them enough. I mean, when I moved back, I am th almost 30 years of age and I had to come, I had to make new friends and it's very odd. It's, it's like so hard to make new like friends. It's like dating yes. in a way. And the really? YMCA gave And you're wondering new... how to, do I girl flirt? Do I make, you know what yeah, I mean? Like how do you this figure is, that relationship out? But really true. the gym is such a wonderful place to make those relationships. It really is. Yeah, and we love having Shay as a member. Um, so I'm the exec at the YMCA of Baptist North. And as soon as Shay came in, she actually became quick friends with a couple of our staff and then also our members. So we're just really, really happy to have her there. And then along with Shay and her little baby, we look forward to um, catering to her and her baby um, for our child care. <laughs> uh, so as soon as the baby's born at six weeks, we'll be able to take the little girl, right? Yeah, can you take her earlier? I want to get no, back into no. the gym six as weeks, early six weeks. as I possibly can. <laughs> six weeks. Do you want me listen? And I'll be right there snuggling up with her. That's oh. my favorite place to I'll, be with in the I'll hold the baby also. Mm. I'll take it. We'll all it. do it together. <laughs> love so it. one final, for anybody watching at home, you know, a, a little girl, even a little boy, what yeah. do you say to them as an inspiration to say, you can do this? You know, my... Again, fear is a state of mind, wills, and action taken. And for me, I didn't have the resources to live this fantastic life that I've been able to create for myself, but I became resourceful 
and rehabbing and building the resources. So even if you know it's your dream and you're watching the Daytona 500 today and you want to be that race car driver, you want to be on that pit crew, my, my advice would be find a way to be resourceful to get the resources even if you have to work at the building blocks of that. I think we can all use that advice today, every day, and in life. Thank you guys so <laughs> much Thanks for, for joining us.